hey guys welcome back to my channel so today i will be doing another pv video now this video isn't like the normal pv tips video that i do i got the request to do this video and in this video i will be talking about what comes with the upperclassmen housing some supplies you might need some things to expect and i'll be going over some of the rules i'm gonna be honest I don't know all the rules off the very top of my head, but I will go over the ones that I do know. But you can always just read over your lease and stuff because they email that to you. So you can always just read over that so you can just be sure to not get fined for anything. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. So when you move from the UC into the phases, the phases is University Village, but the phases is the nickname for it. It's not completely different, but it is a change. You no longer live in like a building where you see everybody and y'all just come to TV room. That's the number one difference. There's no TV room. And if you see some of your friends, you see them. And if you don't, you don't. It's basically like living in apartments, but on campus housing. And have phase one and two, which is by the rec and the MSC. And then phase three, which is by the UC and the basketball court. The walk from the UC to the phases is about 10 minutes. If you go into phase one and two, it really just depends on how fast or slow you walk, but it's usually about 10 minutes. And the walk to phase three is like really not that far because it's like right across from each other. So it just depends on how fast or slow you walk and how fast you're trying to get to the phases. So I know in your room, you get the nightstand, the desk, just like you did in the UC, except you get the nightstand added. And then you get the slide door closet. And no, it's not a mirror. I know they had that at the UC, but they do not have that at the phases. And you get your computer desk and a chair as well, just like you did at the UC, except this desk is on your actual wall. And that's all you get in your room. And then in the living room, you get a table, a long table, you get a short table, and then you get a couch, a chair, and then some of the houses come with dishwashers, not all of them. I know I lived in phase two and it came with a dishwasher. I lived in building 12. No, I lived in building I lived in building 13, but like I also know like some buildings like building 17 did not come with a dishwasher. So it really just depends on where you live in order to get a dishwasher. But yeah, you got the stove, the microwave, the refrigerator, and the freezer. That's all together. And then you have a sink and it's just one sink. So there's not like two sinks where you can wash dishes and then put the clean ones on the other side. It's just one big sink all together. And then some of them have bookshelves or some houses and have island tops. It just just depends on what part of the phases you live in. Mostly I'm speaking about phase one and two in this video because that's where I lived at. So I know the experience here. Now I visited phase three but I didn't live there so I can't go into as much detail about it but this pretty much goes for all the phases basically. And if you did not know, I lived in the four bedroom last year. It's all the furniture that comes with the housing. And I got asked, how did I hang up some of my decorations in my room? If you have not seen my dorm tour, I will leave the link in the description box. But if you have not seen my dorm tour, I did have up curtains. And I use these things right here to hang them up. I know you're not supposed to use like stick things on the wall and stuff. Like you're supposed to use... um like you know those clips that you stick on the thing but I didn't care I used the push pins because that was the easiest thing instead of like nailing stuff in because I didn't feel like buying a hammer or buying nails I just used these push pins right here and I purchased them from Target that's what I used to hang up all of the decorations in my room so some of the supplies you might need I have them all on my phone right here a list of some supplies you could bring to be prepared now these supplies really just apply to the bathroom and like the living room and your room it's not like I'm going in depth about what you should bring for the whole year. This is just some things you should bring moving on to the upperclassmen housing. I will insert the grocery list somewhere on the screen so you can keep up as well. And if you would like for me to send it to you, just ask me on Snapchat or leave a comment down below. You can give me your email or your social media and I will email it to you or um, message it to you. For the bathroom, you would need a toilet scrubber, bathroom bleach, fabuloso if you like want a mop and stuff, hand soap, body wash, you would need a curtain because it does not come with that and you also need the curtain um, hooks. You need a plunger, some glass cleaner, a toilet scrubber, a mop, a broom, a dustpan, a vacuum, maybe some air freshener 
um dishwashing liquid dishwasher liquid in case you do get a dishwasher um pots forks spoons full a drainer for when you drain your food um a sink stopper trash bags and i put a dish scrubber now that's like a majority of the cleaning tools that you need and stuff that you need that is not provided you go into the upperclassmen housing i know for sure y'all need plungers and toilet scrubbers because them toilets get dirty just sitting there and then um plungers are slipped on but you need to get your plunger also if like some stuff go wrong you can put in a house request just like you did when you lived at the university college you can put in a house quest and maintenance will come and fix your stuff for you that's the same thing carried on for the uc you just put in a request to get stuff fixed now also our dryer and washers are in the clubhouses we have two clubhouses in the phase one and two phase two clubhouse is where the washer and dry is and we also have a little gym in there they got treadmills and all that and they got the tv and they have like basketball um a thing where you can play basketball not like on the court but like the little game basketball and they had like a game machine and stuff and they give out food sometime in there and you also have a computer lab so all that's in the phase to clubhouse and phase one clubhouse that's just where they do all your paperwork and stuff for housing now on to what to expect so it really just depends on if you have one another roommate or three other roommates you can get the four bedroom or the two bedroom yes you can pick which one you want to choose but you have to do that like super early and you have to put that on your lease and choose your floor plan or when they go talk to freshmen about housing in order to get a two bedroom, you gotta be only like quick, like super quick to get a two bedroom. But you pretty much still have visitation rules. It's it's kind of the same as living in the UC, but a little bit more freedom. We didn't have to sign visitors in and stuff. It wasn't like that, but you could have visitors. And we still have visiting rules, but it's not as strict as the UC. And I lived with a CA last year, so life was kind of easy for me. I can't just pinpoint everything, but during all the homecoming and stuff we still got visitation taken away um yeah so that didn't change homecoming spring fest i think midterms and finals i'm not for sure but i definitely know homecoming and spring fest you still can't let people come spend the night with you and like i said in my last video they have the security at the gate and you have a list of all the names and they check to make sure you live there so it's not like you're going to be able to let people come stay with you during homecoming or stuff. And I'm going to also say this y'all these walls are super thin so you can hear everything like I could be laying down and hear my roommate next door laughing so if you got a little boo thing or your roommate got a boo thing low key be prepared <laughs> to hear some, some stuff because these walls are thin i'm gonna let you know that now and with when i lived with three other roommates like i didn't have that many problems with them um it was just that some sometimes other people didn't want to take out the trash except me and my roommate on this side and then like they would leave their dishes in the sink for a while and nobody cleaned out the ice box in the refrigerator because you living with new people and you don't know people till you live with them so just try to keep everything as clean as possible and be considerate to your other roommates hey so if you like to go grocery shopping a lot like at the beginning of the month or whatever the freezer is small I'm not kidding you so learn to share the freezer and the refrigerator and I know with me living with three other females our freezer used to get packed especially because they didn't cook that much only me and the other girl did so our freezer used to get packed and I would always have to rearrange stuff and so that was kind of irritating but I still we still made it work like I would just always rearrange stuff when I went grocery shopping now if you share a bathroom with your roommate have fun because I shared a bathroom you when I lived in the UC and when I lived in the phase of, and like I said in my other video my roommate just kept the bathroom dirty and I was pretty much the one who cleaned it very often but it was just dirty and it was just nasty and you just have to learn to clean up after yourself because it's nasty to like have to share a bathroom with somebody who don't clean up after themselves like nobody wants to clean up after each other and if I was y'all I would not keep a trash can in the living room because you don't want to have to deal with nobody not taking out the trash so just make sure you got your own trash can and leave that in your room so you don't have to have none of those I don't want to take out the trash I don't contribute to it problems it's just best to avoid with the trash can in the living room all together. Okay, here are some of the rules that I remember. I know that 
you still have room checks and you can keep your room dirty and don't get caught with people after hours or like let them do room check and get caught with people because that's still a fine. I think I'm going to pull up one of my old leases because I really honestly do not know. <gasps> I do not know all the rules. I know you cannot have lights up in your room, but it just really depends on who your CA is in order to have a lights. I know mine didn't tell me to take mine down, but majority of people always have to take their lights down. I'm gonna pull up my old list because I don't, <laughs> I don't know all these rules. I'm just gonna read a few. I'm not gonna read everything though. I know you couldn't have any candles for sure, no incense, stuff like that. It said the co-ed visiting hours were Sunday through Thursday, 6 o'clock p.m. to 11 Thursday and Friday and Saturday 4 p.m. to 12:30 a.m. <laughs> I didn't even I didn't even know that but that's what the visitation hours were um I know they didn't like you to sell food and stuff and then I remember one day I was doing someone's hair and they were like they were doing a room check for my CA and they were like, are you charging to do her hair? And I was like, yeah. And they were like, you can charge, you can run a business and you can charge her to do your hair. And I was like, I'm not running the business, but okay. So I, I think you can't sell stuff at your house or whatever. I know for sure you cannot smoke or drink. Do not get caught with drugs because you will probably get kicked out. And if you have alcohol, you will probably get a fine. It just really depends. I said babysitting is not allowed. <laughs> just some of the rules I know. I think we still have quiet hours. Like you can't be super loud after a certain time because you can get fined for that too. When living at the phases, you definitely have to have a parking decal and a gate pass. And... FYI, if y'all do not return those at the end of the year, they will charge you $100 because I got I got charged $100 for not returning mine. And I didn't even know we had to return it because I thought if I paid for it, it's mine. I paid for it. so But that wasn't the case. You have to return those. And you have to buy one as well at the beginning of every semester because if you don't, they will give you parking tickets and them will start adding up eventually. And I know they gave some people boots last year, so make sure you get your parking decal so you do not get a fine. And also, just because you have a parking decal does not mean you can park anywhere on campus. You can park other places on campus like after 5 o'clock, but when you buy a parking decal, that only gives you, that means you can park in your housing for the day that doesn't mean you could park at the msc at 12 o'clock in the day because they will give you a fine for that so make sure you park where you're supposed to park even though you got a parking decal and don't drive to class if you got a car because that's just wasting gas and you lose your parking spot honestly but yeah also y'all expect the cable and the wi-fi and the hot water to go out a lot now unless pv doesn't change some stuff that happened pretty frequently when i lived there i remember like after december our hot water just was not hot until like three months it was like warm but it was never like boiling hot so that happened and the wi-fi was always messing up as well as the cable it's like we had to probably put in like two requests like our whole building was talking about our cable not being on so they had to fix that so that happens a lot now in the phases you also get your own bedroom so no matter how many roommates you got y'all all have your own room and it's the kitchen and the living room and then the size of the room so everybody gets their own room and if you have a two bedroom you get your own bathroom but if you have a four bedroom two people share a bathroom it's a bathroom on each side so that's something that's that's new as well from going to UC. You have your own door. No, you cannot have kickbacks in your room. It's pointless even having kickbacks because they're always going to get shut down. I'm gonna let y'all know this now. Unless you have like four people and y'all quiet as house, kickbacks will always get shut down. So don't have parties or kickbacks in your housing. She also asked me, how do you know that um what door number you get and what side how do you know what side you get now when they send you over your room assignment they give you the name of your roommates all their phone numbers they let you know the door number as well as the letter side that you will be getting so you'll get an email about all of that so you'll know before you move in and no you cannot switch unless like you talk to housing about moving rooms because you have a problem or something so you're probably not gonna get to switch rooms just because you want side b or something like it has to be a problem so be prepared for when you cook the smoke detector alarms they go off like that like you can literally just be boiling water 
Like, I don't know why, but they just go off. They go off like crazy for the littlest thing. I remember when there was actually a fire in my kitchen. They didn't even go off. But, like, if I'd be boiling water, it would just go off. So, that had, I didn't mention that earlier. You do get a stove as well in the kitchen. In a oven. Also, if you want to go outside and hang out with some friends, we have a pavilion. So, there is one of those outside by Phase 2 Clubhouse. And they have a TV and couches and all that. Or if you want to play basketball, there is a basketball court at the beginning of the phases. And again, this goes for Phase 1 and 2. I'm not sure about Phase 3 because I didn't live there. But I know Phase 3 does have pavilions too as well. And they also have a, a club, a gym in their clubhouse and clubhouse one. Yeah, basically moving into upperclassmen housing, it's like having your own apartment, but you still have CAs and you still have to follow like way more rules and you can't have more, some of the things that you would be able to have in an apartment, but it comes with like furniture. Basis is a gated area. Some Most of the time the gates don't work though, but just make sure you get a gate pass. And if you have visitors, they can park anywhere they don't get told and that's all for this video i think i went over everything that i remember and um know about the faces i hope this video was helpful to you guys and if you have any more requests just let me know i'll make a video about anything if you have any questions feel free to ask me because i answer i will answer any of y'all's questions i don't mind helping y'all out don't forget to share like and comment on this video and don't forget to subscribe and join in the fam and i hope this video was helpful to any fellow panthers who are moving up to housing and i will see you guys in my next video bye